Hi, I'm Ted Raddick with the Finlay Courier. I'm here with Dave Hahnemann and Michael Burwell, and welcome to week nine of Chalk Talk. It's time to talk playoffs, boys. Michael, do you want to entertain us with your Jim Mora impression? <laughs> playoffs? <laughs> playoffs? Are you talking about playoffs? All right, very good, very good. I've heard it before. You, sh- you should be him as Halloween. For Halloween. <laughs> All right, bef- I would be remiss before we start if I didn't give a big shout out to Joe Idle. Uh, I think his football fans, coaches, players, us in the media, um, I don't know that we could possibly survive without him. Guy does great work. Uh, He's just a a god who walks the earth disguised as a mortal. Um, Check out his website, joeidle.com. He is, for the first time this year, the official Harbin Point person for the OHSAA. So we're going to play in or out today, guys, for the playoffs. Dave, I'm going to start with you and Finley High School. In. Oh, you want me to expound? A little bit. Uh, division one this year, uh, the last couple years, Division one went to two divisions or two regions, basically north and south. If you finished among the top 16, you made the playoffs. Division one schools wanted to go back to the regional final format, so now there are four regions, and you just have to finish among the top eight. Um, Will they do that? Let's say, for instance, if they're six and four. Yes. Okay. Michael, Division Four, Ottawa Glendorf. <clears throat> I'm gonna say in uh, a win over Elida this Friday would definitely help that out. Uh, seven and three would be a st- would be pretty close, but yes, I think they'll be in. Okay. Division Five, Dave. Right now, Liberty Benton is sitting number ten, mm-hmm. top eight. Obviously, make the postseason. That's correct. And I don't think they're going to make it. Um, to get in, they would have to beat McComb in week 10, and I don't see them beating McComb. Who okay. they got this week? They got. Uh, Good question. Liberty has got Hope Loudon, okay, which is a, be... what, a 3 and 5 team? Mm-hmm. Won't get them enough <clears throat> points. They need to beat a big winning school. That has to be McComb, and I don't see them beating McComb. Okay, Division 5, Patrick Henry is in. Mm-hmm. Michael Van Buren mm-hmm. also sitting number 10. Mm-hmm. This one, this one. Or division, did I division, say? Division, division 6, six. Yes. I have to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, Van Buren, this is interesting since quarterback Riley Adolf went out with an injury, but I still think they're going to be in. I think they're going to make it at 7-3. and three. They kind of s- snuck in last year and went a long mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. So, Division 7, Macomb is in, Dave. Uh, Lipsick. Lipsick's in. They just have to. They've, they've won enough games where their second level points will earn them a spot in the playoffs. I just don't know if it'll be a home game. It's been a nice game. Nice year for the Vikings. That one over sure. LB was just huge for them. Huge. Michael, Arlington. I also think Arlington will be in. Uh, Week 10 showdown with Lipsick will be interesting for sure. I think even if <clears throat> Arlington loses that game, I think they're still going to make the playoffs. Okay, and finally down in uh, down south in Region 28, yes, Ada. Ada will be in, but they finish the season with Delphus Jefferson this week, Allen East next week. They could, I could see them losing both games, but they'll make the playoffs, but they will have to go on the road because they'll be a 7th race seed. Okay. Am I missing anybody, guys? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. so. OG. Okay. I don't think so. Kerry Mohawk, any of those? They're right behind Van Buren. Kerry's Kerry's four and four, but they're going to need a win over Seneca East in Week Ten, and that's pretty tough task. Both uh, those teams are playing zero and eight opponents this week. Mm -hmm. I can't see them rising up too hard. Okay, this week, Dave, uh, the Trojans have Whitmer. They got Toledo Whitmer here. Um, they need this win bad. Um, Whitmer's a hard team to figure out. They got, they're got they all over the board, but uh, they are good. They are very, very good. They're number two in the league for a reason because they got a ton of talent. All right. This week I'll be going to Lima Perry to see Harden Northern play the Commodores in a Northwest Central Conference battle. I've never been to Lima Perry before, but you guys know what they say, see Cridersville and die. That's right. Michael, where are you going this I week? I am covering the Beast Cyrus and Kerry game, so I haven't seen Kerry yet, so uh, looking forward to that game. We're putting on some miles this week, boys. I hope we yeah. are. <laughs> Be sure and check the Courier uh, Saturday morning, the 
Friday night. And I also want to say check the Courier every day because we will have results from soccer, volleyball, all the other postseason tournaments every single day.